OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to delete blank rows in your data. I'll show you three different methods. First method, select your data. Then on the Home tab of your ribbon, go over to the Find and Select button. Then go to Go to Special. Then select Blanks. Then click on OK. Then still on the Home tab of your ribbon, go up to this Delete button. Click on the drop down next to it. Delete sheet rows. Method two, select all your data again. On the home tab of your ribbon, go over to the sort and filter button. Click on filter. Alternatively, you can use this shortcut key, control shift L. Now that gives you the filter drop downs at the top of each column. And what I need to do is filter out blank cells within one of those columns. So I'll do it for branch, untick blanks, click on OK. So then use Control C on your keyboard to copy the list. Go to a new sheet and Control V to paste. And that'll paste your records in without the blank rows. Method three. Now this method you'd only want to use if you want to automate this process. There may be a scenario where you regularly receive data that has blank rows and you're going to place it in the same sheet each time you receive the data. So what you want to do is again, select your data and then go to the data tab on your ribbon, click on from table range and then click on OK. That will open up the Power Query Editor. You go up to the Remove Rows button and then select Remove Blank Rows. And then you click on this close and load button here on the left. And that's going to place a version of your data on a separate sheet that doesn't include your blank rows. Now you'll see that there are some changes to the format that's been applied to your data. And if you see that, what you can do is go over here to the queries and connections pane, right click and then go to edit. And you can change the format that's being applied to these columns. So for date, I'll choose just date on its own. And then I'll close and load again. And you'll see it's sorted that problem. So what's going to happen is, is if I load new data into this original sheet, go back to the version of the data without the blank rows, then all I'd need to do is refresh it. And I can do that up here on the table design tab. I've got a refresh button and that'll bring through any new data that you've placed on your original sheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.